Can you just begin to thank him right where you are this morning? Thank him that you have the health and strength to be here today. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his forgiveness. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We honor you this morning with our prayer. We honor you, Lord, this morning by coming together to worship you. We honor you this morning by joining this service online this morning. We, we honor you today, God, and, 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 and Lord, we, we want to know you more. We want to know you more, Lord. We want to experience you more, more of you, Lord. I, I've had it all, but what I need is more of you. And this morning, God, I, I just ask your blessing upon this service. I ask your blessing upon this gathering. I, I ask your blessing upon each one here, each one uh, c uh, connected with us online this morning. Some folk that couldn't get out this morning because of sickness or because of weather or, or Lord, for whatever reason. But today, God, we thank you, Lord, that you're, that you're with us. And, and Lord, that, oh God, it's not... Uh, confined to this building, oh Lord, but, but you're, you're wherever, oh God, people call upon your name. You're wherever people worship you. You're wherever, oh God, you, where people praise you. Your word declares you inhabit the praises. You're present in the praises of your people. Father, have your way this morning. Bless all that's said and done, I pray, in Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, amen. Stay standing this morning. Praise the Lord. Let's sing together today. Well, I guess you've all heard the story How in the Bible it was told About the three little Hebrew children And that old Bible made of gold And now the evil king commanded That every knee should bow to me He said, do what you must We're gonna put our trust Yeah. 
my joy and you're my peace. You're my comfort in times of need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when the lies grow dim. When the waves of doubt they come crashing in. You're my anchor in the troubled storm. Almighty God. You're my joy and you're my peace. You're my
A little bit later this morning, we're going to look into God's Word, and we're going to look at the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, found in Daniel chapter 3. And, and you know, they, they just, they loved the Lord. Amen. They, they loved God. And uh, they were willing to take a stand for Him, no matter what. And, uh, you know, I believe this morning, it's important that we, that we worship the Lord. I, I believe it's important that we, we take a stand in this, in this, in this world where so many are, are, are focused on so many other things. And, and, and we can be drawn in, in so many different directions, away from giving glory and honor to Jesus. And coming together like this, it's, it's, it's about giving Him praise. It's about giving Him glory. And, and we're going to sing that, that chorus this morning, I'll take Jesus. I tried these worldly pleasures and they failed. Amen. Can anybody witness to that this morning? Amen. I, I, you know, I've, I guess I haven't been around too long, 49 years. Um, and I've never found anything to satisfy like Jesus Christ. Amen. His presence, His love, His power, His grace. It's just so right. Amen. And this morning, I just, I want to just sing that. I'll take Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Treasure that I have made. 
sing it today. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, I'll take Jesus. I'll take Jesus. I'll try these worldly pleasures and they fail. When you see the gates of heaven and he And I'll take Jesus. Oh, I tried these worldly pleasures and they fail. When you see the gates of heaven and hear the Master say, Be all the world, my child, which one? together. Amen. Oh, I'll take Jesus. Yes, I'll take Jesus. I'll try these worldly pleasures and they fail. When you see the gates of heaven and hear prayer this morning is that you have the, the peace of God in your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you trusting Jesus this morning? Are you trusting Jesus? Why don't you just lift your hand and say, yes, pastor. I'm trusting the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I have the peace of God in my heart. Amen. We're going to sing about that right now, and I'm going to ask Brother Tom just to prepare his heart. He's going to come and lead us in, in prayer in just a few moments. Amen. Praise God. If you don't have the peace of God in your heart today, you can have the peace of God. Amen. Because the only real peace that, that we find is in Jesus Christ. We can search in so many different places and, 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 and look in, in all different places, but the only real peace that comes is in trusting the Lord. You can't do it on your own. You see, you can't do life on your own. 
You cannot navigate life. You, you, can't, uh, you, know, you, you can't navigate this life and the life to come without Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and without Him, you know, life is, is tumultuous. Life is, 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 can be frustrating. Life in, is like a storm. Amen. But, but when Jesus comes, even in the difficulty, even in, in difficult circumstances and stormy circumstances and even in loss, and even in sickness, amen, even, you know, facing death. I, I've seen it at firsthand, amen. Men and women that knew that it wasn't long before they would leave this life and go into the next one, and there was absolute peace, amen. Praise God. And it's because they knew that their sins were forgiven. They knew that they were right with God, amen. They knew they were trusting in, in Jesus Christ, and they knew that when they left this life, amen, they would go right into the presence of the Lord. Amen. How wonderful is that? Praise God. We're going to sing this, and then Brother Tom's going to come and, and lead us in prayer this morning. Amen. Yes, the only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in the only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in you. Tell him this morning. With all life's frustrations, I need you. I know I do. Because the only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in you. Let's sing that again. Tell him today.
just want to share some prayer requests this morning for Brother Tom Combs. just want to remember uh, Sister Lillian as she continues to recover from uh, her knee replacement. And uh, I know she appreciates the prayers of the church. Um, I want to pray today for Tiffany Blanchard and uh, his need in her body. I want to pray for Naaman and Ada and uh, just just uh, holding them up. They're, they're working away and, and uh, just pray for them as they're, they're away from us. Praying for uh, Clyde Byrne today, asking uh, the Lord to, to touch him. Praying for Sister Gwen. Gwen's been not been feeling well for a little while and, and uh, just asking the Lord to minister to her. Uh, also remembering uh, Roy Edison, and as many of you have heard, Roy is, uh, is at about a, a sickness, and, and just asking the Lord to, to minister to that, uh, to, to him, to him in, in his sickness, and um, praying for Maxine today, good to see her here, amen, and just uh, keeping her before the Lord, praying for Sharon Foley and Janice Bennett, praying for Andrew Compton, Simon and Clara, Lorraine Pittman today, and Eric Wilcox. Eric needs a touch from the Lord. Uh, praying for Pastor Mrs. Paddock, Lewis Hillier, Kai Canning today. Kai is uh, not feeling well and, and, uh, and uh, really needs a touch from the Lord. As many of you know, it's Tom and Florence's brother and, and uh, going through a cancer treatment and, and uh, just asking the Lord to just minister to him. Amen. A number of, of folks that are shut in and, and sick and and, you know, almost too, much, too many to mention today. Uh, so many needs, so, so many folk that are uh, going through difficult times. And, uh, amen, you know, we, we've, we've seen so much answer to prayer and, and as we've reached out to the Lord, amen. But there's many today that are, that are needing a touch, and we need to keep them before the Lord. Uh, think about our children and our youth, you know, in this day that we're living in and uh, just bringing them before the Lord and asking the Lord to, to minister in their lives and be with our, our, our youth uh, uh, team as, and, and, young, and children's team as they, they minister on a weekly basis. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just want to say before Brother prays this morning as well, we're going to, we're going to sing a chorus. And if you feel to come, I feel to do this this morning, if you feel to come and stand at the altar this morning, maybe you have a need in your body, maybe you have a need in your family, then you're welcome to do that. And we'll, we'll be obedient to the word. We'll anoint you with oil. We pray the prayer of faith. Amen. The Bible says that, that you're to have the elders of the church anoint you with oil and pray for you. And the Bible says that your sickness will be healed and that any sins that you commit will be forgiven. Amen. And so this morning we want to just, just give you that opportunity to come today. Amen. We're going to sing this chorus, brother. Is that okay? Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sing it soft. Sometimes the trouble you see Sometimes it takes the desert To get a hold of me Your love is so much stronger
trust you and believe. Why don't we stand and sing it this morning? Praise the Lord. Praise God. So this morning, this is what we do. Amen. We, we come to the Lord. Amen. We come to the foot of the cross. We come and we surrender our will to Him. We, we surrender our ability to Him. We, we realize, amen, that, that, you know, there comes a point when, when everything else is exhausted. Amen. But we know one that's not exhausted. We know one who never slumbers and never sleeps. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Word of God tells us that we're to come to Him. Amen. We're to give Him our burdens. The Word of God tells us that He desires us to come. You know, I'm, I'm a father. I'm a parent. And I delight in having my children reach out to me. I do. Sometimes I cannot always... Uh, answer their questions sometimes I cannot always meet their needs I don't have the maybe the capacity or the means or whatever it might be but I if I can help them amen as you uh, with your children you will help them amen and you delight in having them come to reach out to you amen they're yours well, I'm gonna tell you something today that you belong to God amen and he delights to have his children come to him and I believe this morning God's going to do something at this altar. I believe this morning as we're obedient to God's word, I believe this morning as I anoint these, uh, these folk with, with oil representing the Holy Spirit, the power of God, amen. And I believe as brother prays, praise God, I believe the Lord is going to meet these folk at this altar this morning. 
Now, before he prays, I'm going to ask some of you, amen, if you have faith this morning, if you have faith that God can minister to these needs, amen, I'm going to ask you to step out and come and lay your hand on a shoulder here this morning. Amen. Praise God. Why don't you come right now? Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. 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 Lord, we hold the door open for you this morning. We roll out the red carpet for you this morning. Hallelujah. We invite you, Lord. We invite you, Holy Spirit. We invite you this morning. Come have your way, Lord. Come have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You invite us to come, Lord, Hallelujah. and we're coming to you Hallelujah. this morning. Hallelujah. We're coming to you, Father. Amen. Praise your we're name, coming Lord. to you, Father, this morning. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Lord, Power we worship you. And anointing. Hallelujah. You praise Lord, and honor. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Heavenly Father, we thank you again this morning for another privilege, Lord. Lord, it's a privilege to be found in your house today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we could have been found, Lord, in some other place today, Lord. Outside of the ark of safety. But, Lord, you seen fit one day, Lord, to reach down your hand. And, Lord, you plucked us as a brand from the burning. Lord, you placed our feet upon the king's highway. And, Lord, that is why we're here this morning, Lord, to offer up to you thanksgiving and praise. And to give you glory this morning, Lord, because in ourselves we couldn't do anything, Lord, to save our, our, our wretched lives, oh God. Lord, we were lost. We were dying in our sins, but, and Lord, you came to us. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, this morning for your love, your mercy, your grace, and your faithfulness, Lord, today, which is unending, Lord, day to day. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, because you love us, you cares about us. And Lord, you're aware, Lord, of every ache and pain that we have. Lord, in times when we're sad and we're depressed and we're downcast, Lord, you're there. We thank you, Lord, this morning as the pastor spoke on. Oh, the peace and the love of God this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, has poured it upon your people, oh God. Hallelujah. And Lord, we come to you again this morning. Lord, you've heard the many needs, Lord, today, those that are sick today. Lord, we lift them up to you. Lord, those that are mourning the loss of loved ones today, Lord, we pray, Lord, that the peace and the power of God will just come alongside of them today, Lord, and give them strength, Lord, to see them through. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, that you would visit those that are in hospitals today, those that are shut in, those, Lord, that are reaching out to you this morning, Lord, on live stream, oh God. Lord, those, Lord, that are lost and uh, know where to go this morning, I pray, Father, let this be the time, Lord, when the Holy Spirit, Lord, will reach out to them and speak to them and draw them, Lord, today. Hallelujah. And save them and lift them up, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, just be merciful, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. We just give you thanks today, Lord, for all that you do, Lord, day to day. Hallelujah. Lord, as those that have come this morning, Lord, needing something special today, Lord, I pray, Father, as, he, as the pastor anoints them, Lord, that you would minister. And Lord, that you would meet them at this altar this morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, meet them, Lord, in their knees today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, because, Lord, of the cross this morning and the stripes that you bore. Hallelujah for our healing today, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory to your name this morning. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Pray, Lord, that you would just minister, Lord, today in the house. Uh, each one that have come today, Lord, I pray, Father, that you would meet them in their needs. And, Lord, especially in our families, oh, God, you seize them, Lord, today. They're outside of you. And, Lord, they're needing salvation. They're needing something, Lord, to turn them, Lord, from the worldly ways, oh, God, that they're living, Lord, today. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, Lord, minister in the house, oh, God. Hear, oh, God. Hear, Lord, every need, Lord, that's free, that's crying unto you this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you're able. Lord, you're able, Father. We just stand here, Lord, this morning representing you today. Nothing that we can do, Lord, to change situations, but, Lord, we come to you. The author and the finisher, finisher of our faith, oh God, today. Lord, just have your way. Lord, we just remember our young, our children, Lord, this morning. Father, we just pray, oh God, that you will put a hedge around them, Lord, when we see. Lord, there's so much out there today, Lord, to take their attention and to draw them away, Lord, we pray. Father, that you would just put a hedge around them and keep them safe, oh Lord. Lord, safe from, oh Lord, whatever the enemy, Lord, whatever plans that he might have. But Lord, that you steer them away, oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, this morning for our pastor. I thank you, Lord, for his ministry, Lord, as he comes down with the word. Pray, Lord, that you anoint him afresh, Lord, this morning. Touch him, Lord. Let that word come forth, Lord, in power and in glory. And Lord, let it not return unto you void, but Lord, let it accomplish, Lord. What you need, Lord, today, what you need in us today, Lord, help us to respond to it, oh God. Father, we thank you. Be with, our, be with us now, I pray, in the remainder of the service. Do a great work, Lord. Remember the lost today, Lord, if there's any in our midst this morning. Pray, Lord, that this be a day, Father, when they would reach out to you and call upon your name and ask for forgiveness for their sins, oh God. And Lord, those that are out there by live stream today, oh, Father, we just pray for their salvation. We pray for their healing. We pray for the needs that they represent. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it, Lord. Have your way. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
praise God. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to look into God's word this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dismiss the children's, the children's church. Dismissing them, but they're already gone. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, during during uh, this past three years or so, and and uh, you know, we all know that uh, you know uh, everyone went through the the COVID pandemic and and experienced. Uh, all that and you know what came with it and and uh, one thing that uh, often came up and you heard from uh, leaders uh, you know even pastors like myself you know we'd say things like you know we've we've not been this way before right um, and and, it, and it's true you know uh, we'd not been uh, through that before and and hadn't led a church through it hadn't you know, uh, businessmen hadn't led businesses or, or you know, and, and, and such, and, 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 and school administrators and, and such, you know, hadn't been down that road. Parents hadn't gone through a, a pandemic with their family, for their, with their children. And, and I say all that to say this, is that I feel like where we, we are in the, in, the, in, the, in the life of our church and what God is doing, I feel that I can say I've not been this way before. You know, as God has been ministering and, and we're seeing uh, you know, folk come to the Lord and, and uh, I haven't been preaching for, for very long at all, only uh, just over six years. I think that's what it is, thereabouts. Eight? It's not eight. I think she's wrong this morning. Six or eight, what's the difference? <laughs> but, I, but I feel, you know, Lord, I've not done this before. Lord, I've not led in this way before. Lord, I've not been in this role in this manner before. And, and I'll be honest with you, um, at times it's, it's challenging because, um, you know, I, I believe we need to be led of the Spirit. Amen? I, I believe that with all my heart. And, 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 but sometimes, you know, we want to push the gas pedal. Sometimes we want to, you know, put on the brake. Sometimes we want to jump out of the vehicle and run away. Uh, you know, all manner of, of feelings and emotions. And, and we, we have to continue to remind ourselves that, you know, um, you know, God is in the midst. And God is working. And God is, God is the one that, that needs to lead. He is the great shepherd. And I just say that this morning to say this, church. You know, sometimes you may look at me. And say, you know, what's, you know, what's he thinking or, or what's going on? And, and I'll be honest with you, I'm just trying to be led of the Spirit. I'm just trying to, to allow the Lord to navigate. Amen. And uh, there's times I'm going to get it right. There's times that I'm going to get it wrong. Hallelujah. But praise be to God, I'm thankful that he's patient. He's, he's patient with you and he's patient with me. Hallelujah. And I do believe that the season that we're in, I don't believe it's a gasoline revival. I believe it's a kerosene revival. I believe it's a slow burn. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's no point in us getting ahead of God. And there's no point in us getting behind God. We need to just continue to be in tune with God. So uh, I want to ask you to pray for your leadership. Pray for your pastors. Amen. That we would have the mind of Christ. And that we would be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And we, we're praying the same for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's just a, uh, just a little uh, bit of my heart this morning. And we're going to look into Daniel chapter 3 for a few moments. Hallelujah. Good to have Nathan and his family with us this morning. God bless you. You came in a little late, so I didn't get to welcome you, but so good to have you. And I know mom and dad, they're not proud at all. Oh, so good to have you. Praise the Lord. And Sims, it's good to have you with us this morning. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 3, Lord, I pray that you would help me this morning. 
God, I pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, as we look into your word, I pray, Lord, that you would minister, Lord, in this place. God, that you would minister, uh, Lord, uh, uh, in, a, in, in a mighty way, God, to the hearts of, of men and women. I pray that this would be the day, uh, Lord, that, that we, uh, Lord, would, would make a, a concise and a, and a lasting decision to stand up for God no matter what. Lord, I thank you for, for the ministry of your spirit here this morning. Lord, I, I believe that there's hearts here that are thirsty and that are desiring to know you more. So, Father, have your way this morning. Hide your servant behind the cross, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 3 and, and verse 1 says, King Nebuchadnezzar made a, an image of gold 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide and set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Verse 4, then the herald loudly proclaimed, nations and people of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the, the music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Verse 12, it says, there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these men were brought before the king. And Nebuchadnezzar said to them, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold I have set up? Now when you hear the, the music, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image, I made very good. But if you do not worship, you will be thrown immediately into the blazing furnace. And, what God, and then, then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If, you, uh, are, if we rather are thrown into the blazing furnace, the, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with them and his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace uh, heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. Verse 21, so these men wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leapt to his feet in, in, in amazement and asked his advisors, Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? And they replied, Certainly, your majesty. Verse 25, he said, Look. I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unarmed. And the fourth looks like the son of, of the gods. I want to talk about these men this morning. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men of God. They were different. Wouldn't you say? Some officials came to King Nebuchadnezzar and they said, verse 12, there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon who pay no attention to you. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. And here they were, they, they were on, a, on the plains of Dura and, and, and there were thousands that had, had, had heard this uh, uh, command to, to bow down to this image that Nebuchadnezzar, you know, had, had erected. But these men, these three men, they were different. Everyone else bowed down, but these three men, 
they, they, they stood standing. They would not bow uh, to, the, to the pressure, uh, you know, of, of the king's command. They were different. And, and you know who else was different? Jesus was different, wasn't he? Jesus was, was righteous in a sin, sinful world. Jesus was, was light and life in, in, in the midst of darkness. Jesus was, was absolutely different. His, his teachings, his instructions, uh, they demanded a, a different lifestyle. They demanded a, a higher standard. And you know what that means? That means that, that we are to be different. Amen. It's not always easy to be different. It's not always easy to stand alone. And we are to be different because we've been, we've been changed by the power of God. Hallelujah. We've been changed by the power of God. We've been born again. Amen. The Bible refers to us as new creatures. Amen. In Christ. Hallelujah. And you've heard me say it before, and I probably say it too much, but, but you're not who you used to be. Amen. Praise God. I'm thankful that I'm not who I used to be. Amen. You know, it changed people. Paul was, was talking to the church at Corinth and, 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 and he was, you know, encouraging them. And, and that's what he said to them. You're not who you used to be. You're not who you used to be by the power of God, by the grace of God, by the mercy of God. You're not who you used to be. You're different. Hallelujah. And church, we're to be different in this sinful world. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, he says this, he says, Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? And he says, he says to the church, he says, Do not be deceived. Don't be deceived. And Paul's saying, Hear what I'm, hear what I'm telling you today. He said, Neither sexual, the, the sexual immoral or the idolaters, nor idolaters, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And here's, here's, here's what he says. He says, that is what some of you were. He says, but you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. Amen. Church, do you know that if you know Jesus, if you have Jesus living in you, if you've been born again, you have a new mind? Amen. That was a, a word of, uh, of exhortation that came uh, forth in our prayer meeting just as last week. Amen. To some of the new converts that, that are here that are, that are struggling with some things in their life like addiction. And, 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 and the Spirit of God moved in this place. And the word came forth, you know, towards the end of our service. Amen. That, that they have a new mind. Hallelujah. And it was powerful powerful but you have a new mind you have new desires you have a new outlook amen you have a new uh, attitude you know you have a new purity amen praise God you know I I of I, reading the last couple of weeks and I, I read a an account of a pastor who was doing counseling you know premarital counseling with a with a couple and 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 they'd been uh, they'd been sexually active before marriage and I love what this pastor did. He, he took this couple and, 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 and he, he talked them about biblical sexuality and, 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 and how, uh, you know, we can offend God when we don't uh, abide and, and, and live according to his word in, in these ways. And he, he talked about how sex before marriage was wrong and, 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 you know, it came up in their counseling. And I love what this pastor did. You know, he, he, he shared that truth with them. And he helped them to understand, you know, that, that they, weren't, uh, they weren't living according to biblical principles. And, and that their actions that actually offended God. And what he did is he led them in a prayer of repentance. And, 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 he, and he, he prayed with them and, 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 and they prayed to God, you know, that, that God would give them back their purity. Amen. What a beautiful picture. 
and how it was described in that story and how they came to that place, you know, and, and how, you know, God forgave them of their sins and, 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 and that picture of their purity uh, being restored and, and how, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, they, they went on to, to you know, to, to not have uh, the, the difficulty that, so, that sometimes can come into a marriage because of unconfessed sin and, and past relationships and living outside of, of what God calls pure. Amen. It was a beautiful picture of God's restoration work and his forgiveness. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so when we, when we come to the Lord, we're different. Amen. We're forgiven. Amen. We're made new. New creations. Things are put right. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and so Paul talks to these people about being, being changed people. Praise the Lord. And then he goes on to talk about himself. And he says, I'm a changed man. He, he spoke to the Philippians about this. And Paul was changed. And he said in Philippians 3, 7, he says, Whatever were gains for me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. And what is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Amen. See, the grace of God should allow us to let our past go. The grace of God should allow us to walk in God's forgiveness and God's grace. Amen. The Bible says that he removes our sins as far as the east is from the west. You know, so many times we, we come to the altar and we say, God, I'm sorry, you know, for that relationship that I should not have been in. I'm, I'm sorry for the things that I did. I'm sorry for the lies I, I told. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But as soon as we get past the first row, we pick all that stuff up again and, and we take that condemnation and guilt back up on ourselves. But God says you're forgiven. Amen. Praise the Lord. Paul was a changed man. These men were different because they, they loved the Lord. These men were different because they loved Jesus. They had a relationship with him. They didn't have to go looking you know, for the world or bow to the things of the world because they found their satisfaction in Jesus Christ. And they were different. And you know what else they, they were? They were risk takers. They took risks. And verse 16 says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this manner. In other words, he said, your threats mean nothing to us. We are more concerned about not offending God than we are about offending you. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of pressure in this world. There's a lot of pressure in this world, especially if you hold to a standard of righteousness. Especially if you uphold a standard of righteousness and morality in a biblical sense. You're not going to be popular. Because the world is, is bowing to immorality. Hallelujah. But the church needs to stand fast. Amen. We need to, to stand, uh, amen, uh, for the family. We need to stand uh, for the marriage. Hallelujah. We need to stand for awesome relationships. Hallelujah. In the sight of God. Amen. Praise His holy name. You know, these men stood up when everyone else was bowing down. Praise God. You know, church, this is first love kind of stuff. This is, this is, this is devotion uh, to God kind of stuff. This is devotion to Jesus. This is laying down your life for God kind of stuff. This is, this is not being popular in the eyes of the world kind of stuff. This is I'm willing to suffer. I'm willing to be persecuted. I'm willing to be ridiculed. I'm willing, willing to, to, be, to be pushed aside and ignored kind of stuff. And I want to say this morning... You know, if, if someone wants to say that I'm guilty of loving Jesus and loving word and loving God's word, then so be it today. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of loving Jesus. I'm guilty of loving his word. I'm, 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 I'm guilty of, of believing every word that's in this book. Amen. And endeavoring with all my heart to follow it. I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. 
Oh, that we would be today willing to be guilty of loving Jesus and willing to stand for what is right in this world. Isaiah gives a picture of, of how the world sees things. Right now, and you can argue with me if you want to. You wait till after the service. But the world, Isaiah 5 and verse 20, the world calls evil good and good evil. The world puts darkness for light and light for darkness. Bitterness for sweetness and sweetness for bitterness. But these men, they were willing to take risk. They, they, they stood up for the Lord and, 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 and for, the, for, the, for the truth. You know, even if it meant that it would potentially affect their positions. Even if it would affect their popularity. Even if it would affect their friendships. They were willing to, 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 to witness even if things got uncomfortable. You know, we need that kind of zeal. We need that kind of zeal within us, that, that, that love for God, amen, that, that we're willing to stand even if it's in public. Even if, if, if the, in the, the old world hears, even if your closest friends, even if your family hears, you know, we need to stand and say, I love Jesus, amen, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Willing to take rest, risks. You know, this, this Christian walk, it's not a safe walk. It's not safe. It, you know, it, we, we're going to find ourselves, and I believe as, as we get closer to the coming of the Lord, there, there are going to be uh, more instances and, 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 and times, uh, you know, where we're going to have to take a stand. You know, for the word of God, for the truth of, of God. And we're going to have to do that so that others might see that Jesus is the way. And we're at risk. We're at risk of of settling into a, a casual, compromising, ineffective Christianity. You know, we can get so polished and so politically correct that we never, we never ever witness in fear that we might offend someone. Amen. You know, when I was off track, my dad would never have a problem with put me back on track. He wasn't too concerned about offending me. Amen, Dad? And Mom was just as bad. But we need to be concerned more about offending God than offending others. Amen. Standing for truth. Standing for righteousness. Standing for the, the Word of God. We can be some so... Uh, uh, tolerant of sin that we, we compromise with the world. And we, we, we aren't free uh, with the truth. And it's interesting, you know, we aren't free with the truth that will actually set men free. We hold back telling the truth, the truth that will actually set men free. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise His holy name. This walk of faith isn't a safe walk. It's a daring walk. It's a courageous walk. It's a bold walk. It's a risk-taking walk. It's a fearless walk. It's a, I wrote down it's a gutsy walk. Amen. When the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit gives you boldness. The Holy Spirit gives you courage. Amen. Praise His holy name. I believe, I believe that each and every one of us that know Jesus Christ as our personal Savior is called to be a witness. I believe we're to follow the Lord in that way. I believe each and every one of us is to be a fisher of men and women. Praise the Lord. We're to bring others into the gospel. And these men were different and they took risks. But these men were also on fire. They were on fire for the Lord. They were dedicated. And they served the Lord with a whole heart. And, and they said, what did they say? They said, he is able to deliver us, but if He doesn't deliver us, we still are not going to bow. Now, I want to say to you this morning, you, 
You may be upset with God with how things are going in your life. You, you may be a little bit upset and, and, and frustrated, and, and, and at times, you know, you, you may say, well, why, God, why is this happening to me? God, why didn't you heal me? Or God, why didn't you save my marriage? God, why did I lose my job? And you cry out, where is God? Last week, we, we, we looked in, in Luke 7. And here's what Jesus said to Simon the, the Pharisee. Hear me this morning. He said, he said, Simon, I came into your house. You didn't give me any water for my feet. You didn't give me a kiss. You didn't put oil on my head. But in essence, he said, you didn't do any of those things. But this other lady here, Simon, this lady here, she's dedicated to me. She hasn't stopped kissing my feet since I came in. She hasn't stopped serving me. She hasn't stopped giving me extravagantly of herself and what she has. She's been serving me. She's been giving of herself to me. She's on fire for me. And I say that to say this. I want you to notice this morning the level of commitment that these men have to God even in the face of rejection, pain, persecution, and pressure. Somebody today is, is wondering, where's God? Where's God's commitment to me? Why aren't things working out in my life? Why aren't things, why are, why are my prayers not getting answered? Why aren't things straightened out in my family? Why isn't my marriage going as it should? And I want to ask you, hallelujah, on, on the authority of God's word, where is your commitment to God? You're wondering where God's commitment is to you, but where is your commitment to God? Amen. Are you serving him with all your heart? Are you different? Amen. Are you, are you willing to, to take risks? Are you witnessing for him? Amen. Are you, are you gathering with your brothers and sisters? Are you serving, uh, you know, in the, in, in the church, uh, you know, that God has, 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 has brought you into? Are you leaning into this gospel? You know, you wonder, why, why aren't things working out in my life? Why aren't I getting healed? Why is my marriage falling apart? Why, are my, why do my relationships suck? Pardon the language this morning. But I'm going to tell you something. Where is your commitment to the Lord? Where is your commitment to the Lord today? And I want to say to you today, listen. Listen. Let's do what's right and devote and dedicate our lives to Jesus. And I believe with all my heart, I know with all my heart, as we de dedicate ourselves to him wholly and solely, and we give uh, you know, our, our, our lives to him, uh, surrendering to him no matter what, amen, and we live according to God's word, hallelujah, Jesus will be with you and you will experience deliverance. These men, they had such a, a, a dedication. They had such a, a fire within them uh, for God. And they said, you know, even if he slay me, yet will I serve him. They were different and they took risks. And they were on fire for God. And church, you know what? They were delivered. They were delivered. Amen. God came through. Hallelujah. He saved them out of the fire. He saved them out of the world. He saved them out of the difficulty. God's not going to let you down. God is not going to let you burn. God is going to save you. Amen. But where is your commitment to him? 
Where is your commitment to the one who loves you? The one who gave his life for you. Hallelujah. The one who says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Oh, but pastor, I'd like to have a little a pleasure down here. Listen, you'll find no greater pleasure and no greater joy in serving the Lord. Hallelujah. And old devil, listen, he, makes it, he always makes it like a beer commercial. You know, everybody's having a great time, right? Everybody's dancing and partying and having a good time. He doesn't show you the picture of, 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 of the one that's, 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 that's puking their guts up. The one who's, whose family's falling apart. The one who, whose money goes out the window on, on alcohol and drugs and, 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 and wonder where the money's coming to, to feed the family. But God will deliver, and I don't know this morning, maybe there's somebody here this morning that needs to, to hear this, and, and you've, not, you've, not, you've not tried to walk with the Lord, you've not made that commitment for the Lord, you've not, you've not taken that stand, hallelujah, in this day, hallelujah, for truth and for righteousness, you've not proclaimed your love for Jesus today, I want to tell you today, you can trust Him, hallelujah, and He will deliver you, and He will see you through. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll say it today. You'll have more money in the bank. Now, I'm not preaching prosperity. You know what I'm saying this morning. Hallelujah. It's a good life living for the Lord. And he blesses his children. Hallelujah. And I'll say it this morning. You'll be healthier than you were before. In the name of Jesus. Don't laugh. It's true. Amen. Praise God. There's benefits to serving the Lord. There's benefits to standing on the plains of Dura, hallelujah, in the face of the Lord and giving glory and honor to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sister Maxine, can I say this morning things have gotten better since you to give your life over to Jesus? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness, Sister Josephine, this morning? Brother Tyson, can I get a witness this morning? Hallelujah. Brother Bruce, can I get a witness this morning? Somebody else give me a witness this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a good life living for the Lord. Brother Brian, I know it's not easy. Amen. But it's the best. Hallelujah. And God has seen you through and he's made a way. Hallelujah. He's been with you in the fire. Hallelujah. And he's delivered you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, I know, church, sometimes the knees want to buckle. Sometimes we want to bow because it seems like, you know, that it's more comfortable you know, to just go along with the world. It's more comfortable to, to live the way the world lives and, and, to, and to walk the way the world walks. And it doesn't really look like there's any consequences uh, uh, to that. And, 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 and you'd rather not, uh, you know, disrupt the apple cart, as it were. You just go with the flow. Hallelujah. And God says, oh, no, if you serve me, you've got to trust me. Hallelujah. And I say, uh, you bow to no other gods. Hallelujah. You serve me and me alone. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you today, do not not offend God. Amen. Praise His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. They were delivered. Verse 25. He said, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound, unarmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. And Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So they came out of the fire. And everybody around them saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair on their head singed. Their robes were not scorched. 
There wasn't even any smell of fire on them or smoke on them. I'm going to tell you today, friend, you take a stand for Jesus. You will be amazed what God will do in your life. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. He'll bless you. Hallelujah. He'll make you. Hallelujah. All that he desires to be. Hallelujah. Praise God. I believe with all my heart. He'll give you back. Hallelujah. A life and life abundantly. Hallelujah. He'll give you a purity, oh God. He'll give you a, a character. Hallelujah. That men and, and those around you will respect. Praise his holy name. They were delivered. Jesus walked with them in the fire. Only the ropes burned off. The smell of smoke was not on them. Not, not even their, their air was singed. And why was it? Well, they were already on fire. Amen. You can't light something that's already lit. Amen. You can't burn something that's already burning. Praise the Lord. The fire of God burns hotter. And it burns brighter. And it burns deeper, hallelujah. And the love of God burns hotter and burns brighter and burns deeper. The Song of Solomon 8.6 describes the love of God as an inferno that many waters cannot put out. It burns like blazing fire, it says, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love. Rivers cannot sweep it away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're on to something here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is a good book. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm not used to who I used to be. I'm glad that, that the Lord has made me different. Amen. Praise God. And hear me. The Lord has made me different. I didn't do it on my own. You didn't do it on my own. On your own. But when we come to Jesus, when we confess our sins, when we ask him to come into our lives, he'll just do that and he'll change us from the inside out. Amen. Praise God. And I want to say today, amen, of loving Jesus makes me guilty. I'm guilty as charged. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. I'm going to ask the musicians to come back this morning. Amen. We're going to conclude our online service right now. Just ask the ladies to let me know when they've done that.